Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce, and I'm Laurie. Today we are going far away from Taiwan to a country called Afghanistan、mm -hmm. in our human interest section of your magazine. 嗯，所以呢，各位同学，今天呢，我们要来到人文风采的单元，而且就如同 Bruce 老师刚刚讲的，我们今天要带大家离开台湾很远，<笑>要跑到阿富汗去。嗯、mm. ，The、uh, story is going to be about the life of Fatima.、Uh, Fatima, in their language, is a girl's name, and not only in Afghanistan, but、uh, throughout the Middle East. 嗯，那么在整个中东呢，其实很容易听到这个女孩子的名字就叫 Fatima 哦。那所以呢，这个是刚刚讲的是英文的标题，而我们中文的标题就是法蒂玛，阿富汗女性的开路前锋。所以可见，我们今天要讲到的这个，显然是一个非常具有开创力的女孩子的故事。嗯嗯 ，One woman's journey. Journey means. You travel a long distance, like from Taiwan to Afghanistan, but we can also talk about a person's life, from the time they were a student to the time they were working, or when they were young and then later became parents and so on. That's a journey in life.、Mm. And Fatima, who is the woman we'll be talking about, she is from Afghanistan, but she's special because she became that country's first. Female or woman tour guide. 嗯，所以呢，这个是我们的副标题，看到的就是一位女子，她成为阿富汗第一位女性导游的旅程。所以这个旅程，这个 journey， 就像刚刚 Bruce 老师讲的，它不一定是真的你去旅行的旅程，那种地理上的距离，它也可以是时间上的一段啊、哦。所以呢，你从学生到你就职这一段旅程，你也可以用 journey 来看。所以我们就赶快跟着 Bruce 老师来看看我们今天这位女主角 Fatima 吧。Okay, I forgot to mention this is a two-day lesson <laughs>、mm -hmm. because we think the story about Fatima is not just interesting but also important. 嗯，所以呢，刚刚这个补充一下哦，这是一个两天的文章哦，我们需要两天的分量来好好的了解一下这位又有趣而且也很重要的这位女子。All right, so we'll start. Fatima is the youngest of eight children in her family. In a poor country, in an undeveloped country, it is normal, it is natural to have big families. And Fatima is one of eight children. This means she has seven. Brothers and sisters. That's right. So, we start the first sentence. He introduces her to Fatima. She is the youngest of eight children in her family. The youngest and most vulnerable. In her hometown. The place where she grew up, which is a remote village, it's a small town.、Uh, we call a village in Afghanistan, far away from the cities. Girls weren't allowed to attend school in their religion or in some people's religion.、Uh, girls should、uh, get ready to be mothers and、uh, wives, and that's. All that they should do in their lives. 嗯，所以刚刚布鲁斯老师提到的是说呢，哦，就是在很多呃这个国家他们的文化里面，或者有一些宗教里头呢，这个女孩子你就是当妈妈生小孩，所以呢，其实她是没有很多我们一般女孩子可以做的事情，其实他们是不能做的哦。那我们来看到句子呢，他讲到说，在他的 hometown， 在他的家乡，怎么样的家乡呢？一个偏远的。阿富汗的一个小村庄里头，小村落里头啊，这里的 remote 是偏僻、偏远的意思。那么呢，女孩子是 weren't allowed to， 就是不被允许去，去干嘛呢？去 attend school， 去上学的。However, Fatima wanted to learn. She had an open mind and she wanted to learn things, so she started teaching herself. 不简单。嗯
That's really something amazing. <笑>所以呢 ，Fatima 呢，哦，他讲到说，然而，哦，他是想要学习的，所以他开始教他自己。所以刚刚布鲁斯老师讲不简单哦。<笑> She would practice English by writing words in the sand with a stick. She could not go to school, but somehow she found、uh, maybe a, a book, a textbook, and she taught herself. She used a stick and、uh, spelled English words in the sand to remember them. 嗯，所以呢，他接下来讲到说，他会练习英文啊、哦、，practice English， 用什么方法呢 ？By 后面告诉我们他的方式就是 writing words in the sand with a stick， 用呢一个这个呃。这个我们讲说这个呃小树枝，然后呢在沙地上面练习写英文字，这样的方式来练习。Mm. Fatima loved English because it enabled her, it allowed her to do something,、uh, to communicate with the outside world. Somehow she realized、uh, maybe they have TV. I don't know, but she could see that many programs or maybe tourists. Uh, could speak English, so she wanted to learn English. Hmm. So, 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 Communicate with something, 就是与什么沟通。所以呢，他热爱英文。Okay,、uh, let's stop and cool off and、uh, take a break. Then we'll continue. Ah,、oh, welcome back. Let's continue with Fatima's story. When she grew older, when she was no longer a child. Fatima began writing blog posts about her country. Well, here I have to allow my partner to、uh, explain blog posts. I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, okay, they are actually some articles on the in,、uh, internet. That's how they can, you know,、uh, read informations from like all over the world. Okay. 嗯，好，所以我们来看这个句子啊，就是讲到说呢，当他哦、啊、这个长大之后呢，他呢就开始写一些部落格的贴文啊。这里的 blog 我们知道就是部落格啊，每个人可以有自己的 blog， 然后呢，有点像是一个 mini site， 然后呢，让人家可以来看，可以来 read 这样。然后 post 的话，就是他能够写一些 article， 放一些 photograph， 然后呢，来这个做贴文，让人家能够看到，看到什么呢？ About her country, 关于她的国家 Right, she wanted foreigners to understand that Afghanistan wasn't just a war-torn country. War-torn means、uh, when we talk about a country that is war-torn. This country has had war for a long time,、mm. and it's been a very terrible situation.、Uh, and Fatima probably. Had some bad experiences, but that's not all of her life in all of the places in Afghanistan, and she wanted people to know that. 没错，所以呢，她想要 foreigner 是指就是我们这些外国的人呢，能够 to understand 去了解到说 that 后面的子句这件事情，什么事呢？就是阿富汗它并不只是一个被战火饱受摧残的国家。这里的 war torn 那个 torn 它其实是 tear t e a r 这个词的过去分词哦，所以呢 war torn 就是指被战争撕裂的哦这样的一个国家，所以就是被战火饱。It had many beautiful places. It is Afghanistan. The places that they had never heard about, because if you watch the news, you're only going to see pictures of war in Afghanistan, not the quiet places that are beautiful. 嗯，所以接下来这一句讲到 ，it 是指阿富汗，它有着许多美丽的地方，而且是怎么样的美丽的地方呢 ？That 后面告诉我们是他们这里的 they 呢，是指这些 foreigners， 他们从来没有听过的美丽的地方。
Fatima's blog posts gained her a lot of followers online. Again, you'll have to help me here, but <laughs> no remember, she could write some English, and she had a computer, uh, and she was trying to help foreigners understand Afghanistan is not just a war-torn country. 所以呢，最后这边他讲到说呢，哦，这个Fatima她的这个部落格的贴文呐，gained lot of followers online，在网络上有许多的人追踪她的贴文，所以呢，follow her，然后they read uh，我们可以说就是她得到 she gained a lot of readers of her posts。Oh. So they will read her articles and photographs and understand that Af Afghanistan is not a war-torn country. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's enough for this section. We'll be back in a moment to finish up. Okay, let's look at our final paragraph for today. But remember, this is only day one. Hmm. We will continue tomorrow. Mm -hmm. One foreigner enjoyed her writing, her blogs, mm -hmm. so much that he planned a trip to Afghanistan. Wow. He wanted to meet the person who was writing such beautiful things about a land, about a country he didn't know much about. So, we see that a 非常喜欢呢，her是指Fatima啊，她的呢这个哦贴文和她的写作的的文章呢，是那么样的喜欢 so much that啊，那么样的喜欢，以至于她呢计划了一趟到阿富汗的旅程。He asked Fatima if she would be his tour guide. Now we often say if, uh, whether, w h e t h e r. W H E T H E R. He asked her whether she would be his tour guide. You can use either one. In spoken English, we always use if because it's easier and shorter to say. He asked Fatima, he asked Fatima, if she would be his tour guide. Although she had no experience in this field, Fatima agreed. She knows her country, she knows some English, so she can help him, and she agreed to be his tour guide. That's right. 所以呢，虽然他并没有这个方面的经验，这里的 field 我们讲这个领域啊，这个领域的经验他没有，所以他没当过导游，但是他同意了。She brought him the man who was interested in her becoming his tour guide. She brought him to the National Museum, which is just what it says. It's it's a place where you can learn about a lot of things. If it's a national museum. Uh, then it's probably the best or one of the best museums in the country, and told him about ancient art because in their culture, uh, which lasts a very long time, uh, the, of course they had painting, they had sculpture, they had many different kinds of art. 嗯，所以呢，首先呢 ，Fatima 她就带着他到了哦这个当地的这个国立的美术馆，然后呢，并且呢，告诉他关于一些非常古老的艺术作品的部分。Later, afterwards, after the museum,、mm -hmm. they drank tea at a traditional Afghan tea house. Now, this is an experience. It's not just looking at the History of a country.、Mm. It's something that all the people in Afghanistan do, and here in Taiwan, tea houses or in Japan are very, very popular too. True. 所以呢，这里原来没想到阿富汗人他们也喝茶哦。所以呢，他说，然后哦，稍后呢，他们就喝茶，在一个什么地方呢？在一家非常传统的阿富汗的这个茶馆里头哦，他们在那个里面品茶。Fatima's guest. This is the man who、uh, read her blog and、uh, wanted her to be his tour guide. That's her guest.、Mm. Enjoyed the tour so much. This man enjoyed 
visiting Afghanistan with Fatima so much that he started mentioning her to his friends.、Mm. If you meet someone you like or you have a good experience, you want to share that with other people. 没错，所以呢，这里啊，他们这个呃度过了这么愉快的哦这个旅程，显然很愉快。所以 Fatima 她的这位客人呢，是那么样的享受这趟旅程，以至于哦，这里我们看到又再一次有一个 so much that， 以至于呢，他开始 mention 是提及谈到的意思，所以他跟他。In 2020, last year, she landed a job. Now, this is an unusual usage for land,、uh, but it's a verb. And if you land a job, then you get a job. You、mm. are successful trying to work at a job. Where with a travel agency, because she wants to be a travel agent. That offers tours in locations. This travel agency、uh, is not just oh, come to Kabul, our biggest city, and you can where people drive cars and have computers and so. No, they want to take people to places、uh, that are in locations. Remember, we use the word remote. Uh, they're far away from the airport and the big cities,、mm. uh, but they really show you what the real Afghanistan is like. <laughs> 没错，所以呢，接下来这句他讲到说，那么在二零二零年的时候呢，他获得了一个工作。这里的 landed 就像刚刚 Bruce 老师讲的是 land 比较少见的一个用法，它的意思等于就是 get 啊、哦，得到、获得。所以他得到了一个工作，然后是跟一家旅行社来配合。干什么呢？这家旅行社呢，他会 offer 是提供哦 ，tours 是行程的意思。怎么样的行程呢 ？In locations， 带去一些地点。怎么样的地点 that are rarely visited by people? Rarely 是很少的哦，所以很少被人去造访的那些地点。所以换言之，就像刚刚布鲁老师提到 remote 这个字一样啊、哦，它是一些比较偏远的地方，但是呢，一样是很美的。他们就专门带这种行程。This made Fatima the first female tour guide in Afghanistan in 2020. Afghanistan finally had the first woman tour guide、mm. because、uh, her first time as a tour guide was successful. The, that man talked about her and wrote about her. She became popular, so she could work at the travel agency. 对呀、啊，所以呢，最后我们讲说这。啊、哦，就是 this 啊、哦，使得这使得呢 ，Fatima 就这样成为了阿富汗的第一位女性的这个导游。嗯、mm. ，All right, let's take a very short break, and then we'll come back for the ending. Okay, we talked about poor Afghanistan has been fighting wars. For a lot of its history,、uh, many of them in the in the last twenty and thirty years, or even longer than that. So we described it as a war torn country.、Uh, torn comes from the verb t e a r, tear, tear. If you, I'm not going to do that, but you could tear the paper.、Uh, the guo chu si tor, t o r e, and here torn. Is the 过去分词 and so we say war torn country. 没错，而且通常哦，这种讲到 war torn country 的话，它是指内战居多的哦。所以呢，等于说这个国家被像那个撕裂开一样被分裂了哦。嗯、所以呢、嗯，我们会用这样的方式去形容一个像阿富汗，它就是属于这样一个 war torn 的 country 哦。所以呢，这个三泰哦，它比较特别一点。那但你就知道说，这里的 war torn 它的原型是刚刚布鲁斯老师讲的 tear 了。And Lori just mentioned、uh, that. The country seems to be torn.、Uh, Nades on. We call this a civil war. C I V I L, C I V I L, civil war. It's going on in Afghanistan even now. 对呀、啊。All right. Tomorrow we have day number two and a lot more interesting information for you about Afghanistan. Join us then. Until then. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Fatima.
阿富汗女性的开路前锋。The life of Fatima. Fatima is the youngest of eight children in her family. In her hometown, a remote village in Afghanistan, girls weren't allowed to attend school. However, Fatima wanted to learn, so she started teaching herself. She would practice English by writing words in the sand with a stick. Fatima loved English because it enabled her to communicate with the outside world. When she grew older, Fatima began writing blog posts about her country. She wanted foreigners to understand that Afghanistan wasn't just a war-torn country; it had many beautiful places that they had never heard about. Fatima's blog posts gained her a lot of followers online. One foreigner enjoyed her writing so much that he planned a trip to Afghanistan. He asked Fatima if she would be his tour guide. Although she had no experience in this field, Fatima agreed. She brought him to the National Museum and told him about ancient art. Later, they drank tea at a traditional Afghan tea house. Fatima's guest enjoyed the tour so much. That he started mentioning her to his friends. In 2020, she landed a job with a travel agency that offers tours in locations that are rarely visited by people. This made Fatima the first female tour guide in Afghanistan.